Greetings, this is Leah Salmon, the Naturally You Coach, best-selling author, speaker, nutritionist, life coach, live blood analyst, on a mission to help 100,000 black women to eat for health, think for happiness and live in harmony, or what I call becoming naturally you. And thank you for, to thank you for even coming to join me today on this live whether you're here live or via the replay thank you so much for joining me um today we're going to be talking about what to write about when you're journaling so um before we get into all of that it's today is monday and on thursday there's going to be it's monday the 6th today on on thursday the 9th um, there's going to be some big exciting news that's coming and the first people that are going to know about it are going to be my easy and subscribers so please go ahead and go to my website thenaturallyyoucoach.com where you can join the mailing list in the dark purple box at the top of the page so that you're the first to know about that big exciting news. Um, if you are already on the mailing list then as well as the current 25% off sale that I'm doing on the four books that I have in store at the moment, you actually get an additional discount. So again, if you join the mailing list the naturally you, at the naturallyyoucoach.com, then um, you'll be able to get a discount code for an additional um, discount on top of the 25% off the four books that I have um, at the naturallyyoucoach.com forward slash shop. So the books that I have out already are Leah's Raw Food Feast, Becoming Naturally You, um, 30 Days to Better Periods and Womb Health, and my latest book, Health, Happiness and Harmony, A Guided Journal to Holistic Health for Women. So you can get 25% off all of those books, plus an extra discount if you join the mailing list. Um, and so today we're going to be talking about, thank you everyone who's joining me on the live today on Facebook. Um, so I already have three podcasts and one video, um, which have come out since I launched my recent book, Health, Happiness and Harmony gorgeous book here so since I've released that book um, I have released three podcasts and one video all on the different benefits of journaling because now that I've got a journal <laughs> or when I decided that I wanted to create this guided journal I started doing a lot more research greetings lovely people greetings Ricole nice to see you sis um, so I decided to do a lot more research into journaling and the benefits of journaling because I had a, only an, like a, a general appreciation for journaling through my own experiences but now I've learned so much more about the benefits of journaling so on top of the three podcasts and one video that are already out there today I wanted to share with you even more information so the and you can find those podcasts and videos all on my website thenaturallyyoucoach.com forward slash blog um, and some of them are on still available on Facebook on my Facebook page as well so I've already covered why I chose to write and create a guided journal um the health benefits greetings lovely people greetings jackie thank you for joining me sis um the health benefits of journaling consistently tips on journaling consistently as well and today i'm going to hopefully all of that content has convinced some of you that journaling is worth spending some of your time on and some people already kind of have an idea of the benefits of journaling and they have every intention of wanting to journal, but they just don't know what to write. So this is going to be the last in the series of information I'm bombarding you with <laughs> to convince you to journal. And trust me, even though I have this gorgeous journal, hardback, thick journal um, that I've just created, which I absolutely love, um, I still very much... Um, appreciate the fact that some people want to journal on some loose pieces of paper or a cheap notebook from the pound shop or a gorgeous nice journal like this however you journal you don't have to have a, a nice fancy journal like this however you choose to journal I highly recommend you start the process of journaling greetings lovely greetings Ricole just started for commitment to going to the issue okay sorry I'm so sorry so I just started, for me, commitment is going to be the issue. Sorry. <laughs> I'm looking into the ring lights and trying to read the screen. Sorry. Yeah, and that's that's the same thing. Some people get started and they're not sure how they're going to be able to commit. Um, so the other video that I have, no, it's not a video, it's a podcast. If you go to my website, thenaturallyyoucoach.com forward slash blog, one of the podcasts that I have is how to tips on staying consistent with 
journaling. So there's a whole podcast on there. I think it's like 20 or 30 minutes where I share four or five tips on how you can stay consistent with your um, journaling. So it's very, they're actually quite practical tips because as a busy person myself, I appreciate that not everybody has time to pour into their journal on a daily basis. And I actually don't even recommend people, or I don't, I don't think it's necessary for people to journal daily. I don't even think that's a necessity to get the benefit from it. I, I, what I have discovered through my research and through my own experience is that just being consistent with it to some degree um, is what's most powerful. And when you're able to build up consistency in a way that works best around your schedule, then you will be able to commit to it more long-term because it won't be a chore. It won't be something inconvenient because you've made it part of your life. So as they say, habit reforms nature. So you will create a habit that becomes natural a natural part of your life as opposed to a burden or something you're f trying to find time to fit in so definitely check out the website it says the naturally you coach.com forward slash blog um and then you'll find one of the recent posts which is tips for journaling consistently but today we're going to be speaking about um what to write when it actually comes to journaling because not everybody is again they know the the benefits of it and they want to do it but they're not sure what they're going to write when they actually get down to it so we're going to take some advice from the website of the center for journaling therapy there is actually a whole branch of therapy all around journaling in the same way there's music therapy and art therapy and dance and drama therapy there is a whole center of therapy where there's been research done um around the benefits of journaling and again if you go to one of my other podcasts about the health benefits of journaling some of the research that that organization have found is in that podcast that i did as well because there are specific health not just the mental and emotional benefits of journaling but there are specific health benefits to journaling as well now the center for journaling therapy have come up with a very cute acronym um, that explains how you can uh, work out what you're going to write when it comes to you sitting down and it's the acronym is right the acronym is w-r-i-t-e which stands for what reflect or review investigate time and exit so right w-r-i-t-e the first one is is what the next letter is for review or reflect and then investigate time and exit so talk a little bit about each one so the first w the first letter is w and that's for what so this is where you decide what it is that you're going to write about and that can be based on what is going on for you right now and that's where most people start most people um feel like they may not have a lot of stuff going on but most people get into the habit of just writing what's happened and, you know, right now we're in the middle of a COVID-19 lockdown, so there may not be as much going on personally in your life if you are maybe um, self-isolating or you're working from home or you're at home with the children. Um, you may not have as much going on maybe as normal, but for some of us there's even more going on because we're having to adapt to the changes. And that's why I think it's actually... I'm, I'm really glad that this um, I've gotten more into journaling at this particular time, because at this particular time, journaling can be so useful um, because it will allow you, again, a safe space to express the thoughts and feelings that you're having at this difficult, challenging um, time. So, yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Ricole has written that down for me. So if you look in the comments, you can see the acronym. Thank you so much, sis. Um, so the first thing you can focus on is what is happening for you right now and it might be um thoughts feelings or literally just you documenting your life i woke up i showered i ate i worked out i spent some time working out what i was going to do for the day and then i watched some tv i did some work i went to sleep literally journaling can be as simple as that just so that you can get into it. In the same way, meditation isn't always closing your eyes and flying off into a magical world. Sometimes you start meditation with very small steps just by closing your eyes and focusing on one word or one image or not even closing your eyes, opening your eyes and focusing on a candle or a picture on the wall or repeating one word to yourself. It's just building up the skills of concentration and journaling is building up the skills of writing and documenting and expressing what's inside onto paper so the first thing you can write about is things that are happening in your life whether that's uh, general things that are happening in your life 
things that are happening in the news, things that are concerning you, those types of things, or literally just documenting um, your life in some kind of chronological order. The next thing that you, and, and again, these are, this acronym is to help you to determine what you're going to write about if you ch have challenges deciding what you're going to write about. Now, there might be some days where you're like, I can't wait to get to my journal. Oh my gosh, I'm going to write all this down. You might have had like a challenging situation. You might have something that made you angry. You might have had a really brilliant situation and you can't wait to get to your journal and write it all down. But other times it might be your day to journal or the, or, you know, the time that you're meant to be journaling and you just can't think what you're going to write. So that's where this acronym comes in. So again, the acronym that the sisters put in the comments for us is write. So what, and that's what is happening, reflect and review, investigate time and exit. Um, so the next one we're going to talk about is reflect and review. So this is an opportunity for you to take a moment and be still, um, you know, take some breaths. I would always recommend you kind of calm yourself down a little bit before you sit down and um, start journaling. But if you can, if you want to, if you're not sure what to write about, one of the things you can do is reflect or review. And that's reflecting on reviewing um, your thoughts, your feelings and um, your emotions at the moment. So you would start by writing down sentences like, I feel overwhelmed. I feel happy. I feel calm. I feel content. I feel overjoyed. I feel disappointed. I feel confused. I feel anxious. Or I want, I want clarity. I want forgiveness. I want um, strength. I want discipline. I want clarity. Those are the things that you can start. You're, so you're reflecting on your thoughts and feelings. You're reviewing, you're checking in with yourself. That's another thing you can start by doing is checking in. How do you feel? What do you want? What do you think? I think this is going to get worse. I think this is going to get better. I think I've finally found the solution. I think we're going to make it. I think I'm pregnant. I think... Um, I want to get married. I think I'm going to try being a vegan. So reflecting and reviewing is you checking in with how you're feeling, how you're um, thinking and what you want. So, and it's useful to, now again, if you're having trouble um, deciding what to write, you can keep things in the present and personally. So today I feel, right now I feel, at this moment I want, at this moment I think. So you can just very much tune in and, and um, check in with how you're feeling and at this precise moment. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much um, for your comments also. So the first thing is that you can write about is what's happening in and around your environment, what's happening with you right now. The next thing you can write about is reflecting and reviewing your current thoughts and feelings, how you feel, how you think and what you want um, by asking questions or starting writing sentences with I feel, ask yourself, how do you feel? What do you want? What are you thinking about? Those just asking yourself those questions can allow sentences to come out that then you can then expand on and write more about because when you really check in and ask yourself those questions, the first answers that come out are normally the answers that have been waiting to come out for a long time. They just needed the questions to bring them out. And you might answer a question to yourself like, where did that come from? I didn't know I was thinking that. I didn't know I felt lonely. I didn't felt, know I felt confused. I didn't know I felt anxious. And then that gives you an opportunity to move on to the next one, which is investigate. So you can, so W is for right. R is for reflect and re review, and I in this acronym um, is for investigate. And this is an opportunity to investigate. So you look back on um, what it is that you've written. If you've already written anything, you can look back at what you've written, what's happening at this time, the thoughts and feelings that you're feeling right now, and then you can investigate. Why do I feel this way at the moment? Why do I feel anxious? Why do I want company? Why do I um, think that I could possibly... Um, need to change my career. It's an opportunity for you to investigate um, and ask more questions about what it is that you've written in the reflect and review state. Now, if you find it hard to even reflect and review and you've looked at the W and you're like, I don't really know what to write about what's happening right now. Um, and then you're like, okay, let me try the reflect and review. I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't want, know what I'm feeling. I don't know what I want. Then I is to investigate. 
And the investigation would be, why am I finding this so hard? Why am I finding it challenging to express my thoughts and feelings? Am I tired? Am I not in the mood to do this right now? Um, is there something else that's that's taking up my attention? Is there something that's distracting me away from doing this? What could that possibly be? Do I need to get more sleep? So the I is for investigate. You're either going to investigate more into what it is that you've just written, or you're going to literally investigate why it is you haven't even been able to put anything down on the paper at that time. So I is for investigate. Thank you so much, sis. Thank you, Rikale, for um, taking notes so everyone can keep track. So again, anyone who's just joining me, my name is Leah Sam, I'm the Naturally You Coach. One of the recent um, books that I've just created is Health, Happiness and Harmony, which is a guided journal for holistic health which is here. And in the process of writing this book, I've done a lot of research and learned a lot more about journaling. And I've so far produced some podcasts and videos on why I decided to create the journal, the health benefits of journaling, um, how to stay consistent with your journaling, tips on how to stay consistent with your journaling. And now I'm writing, um, and now this video is sharing with you some advice on what to write when you actually do decide you want to start journaling because some people are already sold on the benefits of journaling both for your mental and physical and, and emotional health but they're just not sure what to write so we're taking some advice from the center of journal therapy who have put together an acronym which is write w-r-i-t-e and that stands for what review or reflect investigate time and exit so we've spoken about what to write the reflect and review, investigate, and now we're gonna talk about time. Now this isn't really a thing <laughs> that you're gonna write about, but what's useful is having a time that you're going to be writing for. And again, I spoke about this in the tips for staying consistent with your journaling in the podcast that I did, which you can find on my website, thenaturallyyoucoach.com forward slash blog. So one of the things that's useful is to set a time and decide how long you're gonna journal for. Now some, you might just wanna journal before you go to bed and it doesn't really matter how long you're journaling for. But again, if you're having challenges or you may be challenges like getting consistent with your writing or or you're having challenges deciding what to write, or you may have a busy schedule and you don't have a lot of time to commit, so you have to have a certain amount of time set for your writing, then when you start journaling, you will set a timer. And then for however long it is, now at least five minutes is, is ample. It's an ample amount of time to write for. If you wrote consistently for five minutes, you'd probably get quite a lot down um, if you're writing consistently. So if you set a timer for five minutes and you've got through the what's going on right now and then reflecting and reviewing and doing some investigation, then you may check in with the timer and the, you may have already come to your five minutes. So it's useful to have that timer set because what it can do is it can kind of, you may you may be like really in the midst of your writing and the timer goes off to say you've already hit your time. And that will let you know that maybe you need to set your time. Maybe you're not actually having as much trouble as you thought and you can give yourself a bit more time in the next session. Maybe bring it up to seven minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes even. Um, so having a timer set and giving yourself a set amount of time is useful, is, an, is something else that's useful if you feel it's challenging to decide what to write. Because you can give yourself even three minutes of writing time. Because writing for just three minutes, in a couple of weeks, you would have written 30 minutes. So over 30 minutes, you would have written about things that are going on. And for some people, that's more time than them, they've given themselves to express um, challenging thoughts and feelings that are bubbling up inside them for the whole year. So you giving yourself three minutes a day for 10 days is a great step in the right direction. Even just you being consistent with that is a brilliant step in the right direction. The next thing I'm gonna recommend, or the next thing on the list, sorry, um, is exit. So this is when you've maybe come to the end of your time. You, you know, maybe you're keeping your eye on the time and you know you've maybe just got a minute left or a few minutes left, or you've done as much writing on the other areas as, as you feel you can. You've written what's going on. You've done some reflection and reviewing on how you're feeling and thinking and what you want. You've done some investigating into those thoughts and feelings. You're coming to the end of your time and now it's time to exit. Now what you wanna do is exit as strategically and uh, retrospectively as you possibly can. So it's useful to um, read what you have written 
just quickly read over what you've written and then you can write something like um, as I write this I notice or as I write this I'm aware or as I write read sorry as I read this so as I go back and read what I've just written I'm aware or as I read through this I notice that I keep on saying the word fear or I keep on I keep on referring to this person I keep on um, using the word joy I keep on focusing on what I don't have I keep on focusing on abundance which is brilliant so my thoughts are moving in the right direction so you might notice things you might become aware of things it might just be as I read this um, I'm glad that I've given myself this time to journal so do some retrospective um, look look back at what it is that you've written and exit strategically so exit by you may have you may have written for the last four minutes. You may have got 200 words down on the paper. And as you were, you know, reflecting and reviewing and investigating your thoughts and feelings, there might have been some action steps that have popped up. So in your exit, you can write, OK, from, you know, today I've based on what I've written, I'm committed to doing X, Y and Z. I'm going to put on my to do list that I need to add these things to my schedule. I'm going to make sure that I call this person, email this person, finish this project, add this to, um, you know, one of my my bucket list, whatever it is. Um, ensure I spend more time with that person, whatever it is. So you're exiting by reviewing what you've written and gleaning any action points and steps of importance from that. So you're like taking minutes. <laughs> from your thought time. Um, so that's it. That is the acronym. The acronym is again, that will help you to decide what it is that you're going to write when you do sit down to write and journal. And this is from the Center for Journaling Therapy is write W R I T E, which stands for what, what's going on in your life. R is for reflect and review. You can literally take a moment to be still with yourself and ask yourself, how are you feeling? What are you thinking? What do you want? And right now what do you want and today what do you want and at present i am feeling and then you can write those words and thoughts and feelings down and then i you can investigate now you can invest either investigate what you've just written or if you haven't even been able to write anything down you can investigate and ask yourself why am i having trouble writing things down am i why am i having trouble expressing myself and putting pen to paper and sharing my feelings and releasing my emotions you can investigate that if there's nothing to actually investigate but if you have written a load of things down um through the reflection and the review or through the what's going on you can investigate those ask more questions about them why did I allow myself to um, get wound up in the argument that I had today why didn't I um, give myself more time to prepare the food and then it ended up getting burnt why did I why was I so short with the children today why was um, why did I keep on saying yes when I really wanted to say no you can ask a question or, you know, and, and then if it's in response to the feelings you're having, why am I feeling anxious? Why am I sad? Why am I confused? Um, you know, you can investigate those kind of things as well. And then time. So set a timer. So T and write is for time. So you set a timer so you can give yourself just a certain amount of time to write. So you don't have the, but if you're already having challenges thinking, what am I going to write? You don't have the added burden of having to sit down and write for an unending amount of time or an unspecified amount of time where you never really know where you're finished or not. So giving yourself even three minutes, putting a timer on for three minutes, five minutes, seven minutes, 10 minutes, um, just so that you've got a, a nice cushion and I've, you know, way to introduce you to writing on a daily basis, um, then that's one thing. And then exit. E is for exit in the acronym. And exiting is looking back at what you have written and then having a, a closing statement for your journaling for that day. As I read this, I feel, as I read this, I notice, as I read this, I plan to, and then you can plan the things, you can take some, glean some action points from what it is that you have written so that your time has been as productive as possible. So, and again, remember with all of this, with journaling, number one, whether you do it on pieces of scrap paper or a cheap notebook or one of these gorgeous, um, guided journals um I don't 
recommend and I don't think you should put pressure on yourself to feel like you have to journal on a daily basis if that's not going to be um, if you feel that's not going to be practical to your life just journaling consistently is still very beneficial um, and deciding if you're going to be journaling once a week three times a week um, maybe it is every day maybe every day is beneficial to you but if you do it every day you're just going to give yourself three or five minutes to do that however you decide to journal consistency is more important and even with the acronym that I just gave you um you may not need the acronym. You, and, and that's the, the reality of the situation is most people, when they get into writing, even if they thought, God, what am I going to write about? When people actually start putting pen to paper and giving themselves that time away from the screen and away from the phone and away from other people and just allow themselves to allow what's inside them to come out. they Some people are like, I can't believe I wrote for so long. <laughs> this was amazing. Some people don't have challenges, but if you do need something to get you started, then that's where today's tips should be useful. So again, I have some big news coming on Thursday, um, this Thursday, the 9th of April. So if you're not already on the mailing list, please do go ahead and go to my website, thenaturallyyoucoach.com and join the mailing list there so you're the first to know. I'm also currently having a 25% off book sale on all of my books, Leah's Raw Food Feast, 30 Days to to better periods and womb health becoming naturally you and health happiness and harmony a guided journal to holistic health and if you're on the mailing list and all of those prices are already discounted on the website at the naturally forward slash shop um but if you're on the mailing list you get an additional discount as well so that's another reason to go ahead and join the mailing list i don't bombard you with emails by the way i send out like two a week um and again, if you want to find out more about journaling, you can go to the blog on the website, the naturally you forward slash blog. So you can find the other podcasts and videos that I've done, why I decided to write a guided journal, the health benefits of journaling and tips on staying consistent with your journaling. I hope you have found this um, video, this live video useful. Please do share and like and subscribe comment um and share it with anyone else that you think may find this beneficial i'm going to be back live on wednesday again on facebook on wednesday at 9 30 um and i'm going to be sitting oh, i'm going to be sitting i'm going to be talking about how sitting for long periods of time or sitting all day can have a negative impact on your period so if you're interested in that then please do join me again on wednesday thank you so much ricole for um putting the notes and putting the acronym in the comments that has been very useful and i'm sure it will be very useful for anyone who's coming back on the relay replay as well. I look forward to seeing you all soon. Take care and stay healthy.